Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, hope everybody's doing well. So I had a problem today, um, amongst many, I'm sure. Uh, but it's uh, currently 92 degrees as far as what my car says. So I left work today and I don't generally run the AC if I don't have to. I'm more of a windows down kind of guy, plus some of the old Fords I drive don't don't always have it and that's not just old Fords I mean that's you know older vehicles in general so I mean clearly I'm not talking a mess about Fords uh, <laughs> anyhow so it's been a long day I got in the car I just wanted some AC I wanted to cool off and I found that no matter what I did no matter what I messed with, the air was only coming out of the defrost vents up here and over there. So, I mean, two. I mean, it was, you know, going like crazy. It was full on. Um, but I couldn't get it to go through the vents in the dash or on the floor or anything like that. My, a, my air uh, conditioned seat worked great, which is nice. Um, <laughs> but... So I got, I got home and did some looking and there, there's like a few things. There's, from what I read, there's like three like blend door actuators uh, in this car. And I, I guess a lot of newer cars are the same way. Um, so there's three of those. There's one, if you go under here with uh, where your accelerator is and then go up, it's mounted facing this way or facing that way then there's another one that's right behind the glove box and then there's another one that's mounted up here facing this way so um sorry i'm very sweaty it's very hot in here i'm doing this for the purposes of science i'm sitting in a hot car uh so i hope you appreciate it <laughs> uh anyway so there's three of those and I guess there's there could be vacuum issues and things like that too that would cause something like this to happen. But what I was reading was something about like a default mode or something too that just makes air come out of the defrost. I don't know. I I'm not an expert by any means. Obviously, I just drive these things and I kind of tinker around when I can. If there's something I feel like I can tackle, then I do it. But after doing some reading, and I'm not the first person that's done this, but if you're looking at like just something to try if you're having the same issue before you take it somewhere and you know from reading some of these things it's it can be kind of expensive so and if you have to replace one of these I think it's like 20 bucks or the part is 20 bucks so if you feel like doing it yourself then by all means anyway so this is what I did I'm done setting in heat I'll show you really quick there goes Jason off to do whatever so I had the AC running and I hope you can see this it's kind of in a weird spot but up here there's a little white box that is a blendor actuator and I can't tell you the specifics on exactly what it does other than it will cycle through different uh, different parts of your uh, your vent system as you know as far as I know anyway I could be wrong there too so if there's gonna be dislikes on this video have at it because I don't have all the answers um, but what I did while the AC was running the car was just in accessory mode just going I basically just took this whole thing right here and just uh, just kind of tapped on it. I, you know, don't bang the hell out of it, but just gently tap on it. And probably after the fifth little tap, I heard it heard it kind of change and cycle through. And then I had uh, air coming out of my dash vents. So, with that being said. I saved myself a little bit and I don't know if you can hear it now. Yeah. It's uh 
it's working as intended. And, you know, obviously this isn't going to fix everybody's issue, but if you're having the same issue, you're having the same deal, I mean, if, you know, terrible. Um, if you're having the same issue, at least give it a shot, you know. And I can't say that it's going to be that one specifically that is wrong, but, um, you know, it's like, uh, if any of you ever had to uh, try and get a car started that wanted to start, but it just wouldn't, and so you went and tapped on the starter, and then eventually it fired up. You know, just little things. Something to try before you just take it somewhere and say, hey, I don't know what's going on, fix it for me, and then you end up with a bill. You know, so worst case scenario, if I have to replace that thing, it's pro you know, it's probably dying. I mean, yeah, granted, it fixed this, but it's probably on its way out if it's doing that. So, but like I said, it's 20 like a $20 part. So if you're inclined to replace it, then go ahead. And if just tapping on it, fix it for you and you run it and it works, then great. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, so yeah, I just felt I'd make some, some video here and I actually showed you me doing something this time. And I've been talking about doing that for like two years now and I always showed you stuff after the fact so I'm proud I'm happy <laughs> finally did something constructive that you got to see um, so with that being said it's hot I'm gonna go have a beer uh, I don't know about the rest of you guys if you have to work outside in this heat and stuff like that then you know I'm with you and you know enjoy your time off and uh, with that I will uh, See you later on, uh, hopefully with some more new stuff. And uh, one more uh for the road. So, thanks again for watching. See you next time.